Hey, I'm Michael Arts. It's coming up on Geek Beat. What flies, shoots great video and pictures, and can be controlled by you? You're going to find out next on Geek Beat. Hey, I'm Michael Arts. You're looking at video through the DJI Phantom 2 Plus Vision. It is the latest out from DJI. It's a quadcopter and it's pretty amazing. It does everything you'd want it to do. It shoots video, photos, and it has the gimbal on it. It comes with that gimbal and it feeds all this back to an app on your iOS device. So you can tell your distance, your ground speed, your altitude. In addition to that, it allows you to control the device and take not only video, but photos and it gives you a whole lot more information including battery life and of course the most important thing your satellite connections you also can see your SD card your time to record and you get a video link back from the DJI it's really an awesome device it's great for shooting video productions it's great for doing all sorts of things and for having fun and what's great about the DJI Phantom Vision 2 Plus is that it's a whole lot better than the first one. First of all, it's got a camera built into the device, which is already sitting on the DJI gimbal. So in the past, you had to buy the Zemu gimbal and then mount your GoPro to that. Now you've got the camera on a gimbal on a transmitter. So it sends it back to your iPhone. You also have a booster right here on your remote control that allows you to get the chopper further away and still get a signal to your iPhone. It's got a 14 megapixel camera for stills, which looks stunning. Its camera shoots 1080 for video at 30 frames a second and 60 frames a second at 720. Now the camera realistically for video is at the level of about a GoPro 1, maybe even a 2, but it's certainly not where the Hero 3 or 3 Plus are as far as quality, which means that it doesn't do as well in low light, but it does look pretty good. I'd stay away from close-ups. I'd keep everything wide and far away if you're using it for a serious production. As a hobby for fun, it's amazing. And as a spy tool, it's great too. In addition to that, its new battery gives you a 25 minute flight time and that's legitimate, that is not a joke, but we have three batteries. Because it's just so much fun to fly this thing, you need extra batteries. I'll tell you that the batteries in the remote and your phone don't drain very fast, so you're good with that. It's a free app that gives you the feedback from the device, which is great, and that's the DJI app, and it gives you a lot of great feedback. All in all, I think this thing is great. It's got a higher price point, but you get the camera, the gimbal, and the device with bigger batteries, longer flight time, the remote control and the range extender, all for about 1500 bucks. What I think is most impressive about this DJI though is that it's ready to fly out of the box. The app takes care of everything else. You don't have to plug it into a PC to calibrate it every time you fly, or even at all. We haven't calibrated it once and we've got a lot of flight time on it. There are some things you need to watch out for. One is safety, that's really important. You have to make sure you're safe at all times. And in that vein, if you seem to be losing control of the device because of interference or something else, bring it down safely and stop flying. And the reality is that somebody should be assisting you and be your eyes. They should be looking at your phone, reading the vitals, and looking up in the sky occasionally. Your eyes should always be focused up in the sky at the DJI. You don't want to lose your visual at any time in case something happens here. But all in all, this is a great device. I'm impressed by this a lot more than I was with the Phantom 1, and there's no doubt in my mind this is a ton of fun and can be a great tool. I'm Michael Arts, this is for Geek Beat. Thanks so much for watching. Be terrific!